The San Francisco 49ers make the long trip east for their second game of the year, off to Philadelphia, where they get an Eagles squad that's flying high. Eagles high. I don't know. I thought that was going to work better. But Jalen Hurts worked out just fine at QB in week one, providing plenty of nice highlight reel plays, most involving his arm. And their recovery. Sanders on the fake. Instead, Rager has room. Jalen Rager for six. Those are some nice looking numbers Hurts hung up, and the same can be said for his top target. Hurts and Devontae Smith showing that all that chemistry they developed in college does translate at the NFL level. Hurts looking left, lofting left, going for the end zone, it is caught for the touchdown! Now, you could point to San Francisco allowing Jared Goff over 300 yards and three TDs and almost allowing him to lead the Lions back from a huge deficit. Goff. On fourth, pressure coming, incomplete! It was the pressure up the gut from Samson Ebukam. But you can also point to the fact they faced 57 pass attempts, and they held Goff to under six yards per attempt. And the Lions' comeback had more to do with turnovers and onside kicks than the 49ers being overly porous against the pass. Four man, San Francisco rush, Goff pressure comes, he's intercepted, picked off by Greenlaw. Dre Greenlaw, gonna take it to the house. Their run defense, though, almost five yards a carry allowed to a Lions team that doesn't tend to be all that strong when they hand it off. Second down, Williams gaping hole up the middle, and Williams into the secondary and down. Eagles, on the other hand, look like they could be one of the best at toting the rock this year. Hertz and Miles Sanders both breaking off plenty of big runs. Sanders cuts back to the right, no one there. Miles Sanders up to the 40 and out near the 45. <laughs> this time, Hertz gonna keep it. Wow inside the 30, Jalen Hurts down to the 25. This contest has potential for plenty of fireworks. Jimmy G went for 300 plus yards and a rating over 120 for San Fran. Garoppolo going to the air. Over the middle, Debo Samuel with his first catch. He still looked George Kittle's way plenty. Fake the toss, here's that little short completion. George Kittle trying to turn it into a long completion. But Philly will really have to make sure it keeps track of Debo Samuel. What a way to start his 2021. That's my bike, punk. And it's caught! Debo Samuel with the catch and trying to turn on the Jets. He'll take it all the way. The Eagles, though, just took care of business against a passing attack that had plenty of weapons. Their play against the pass last week overshadowed by how Hurts played. But hopefully Nick Sirianni handed his DB core a game ball for how well they play. Ryan throwing over the middle. Pitch, hit incomplete. Maddox with a good shot on him, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Oddly, based on last year's numbers anyway, Philly didn't handle the run game all that great, and it's not like Atlanta is a run-heavy team either. Second down. Patterson again. Good cut. Cordero Patterson still has the speed into Eagles territory. The 49ers, though, are a team that likes to keep things low to the ground and may do so even more after seeing what Elijah Mitchell is capable of. Play Mitchell. Mitchell with a flag down into the secondary. Breaks a tackle and Mitchell all the way for the touchdown. And as we saw, when you prep for the Niners, you have to be ready for a little Trey Lance to be sprinkled into the mix. Lance off the play fake, first pass, and it's a touchdown. It's the battle of the unbeatens. I just wanted to beat everyone to the punch before that gets typed into the comments section and gets like a million thumbs up. Like the guy who types in every team's floor is 0-17 and, and their ceiling is 17-0, and, and it still gets laughs? I don't get it but in the end, I don't get much of anything. I do get that this is the end of the preview, and that means it's time for some score predictions.